In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 11, verses 33 through to 41. No one, when he has lit a lamp, puts it in a secret place or under a basket, but in a lampstand, that those who come in may see the light. The lamp of the body is the eye. Therefore, when your eye is good, your whole body also is full of light. But when your eye is bad, your body also is full of darkness. Therefore, take heed that the light which is in you is not darkness. If then your whole body is full of light, having no part dark, the whole body will be full of light, as when the bright shining of a lamp gives you light. And as he spoke, a certain Pharisee asked him to dine with him. So he went in and sat down to eat. When the Pharisee saw it, he marveled that he had not first washed before dinner. Then the Lord said to him, Now you Pharisees, make the outside of the cup and the dish clean, but your inward part is full of greed and wickedness. Foolish ones! Did not he who made the outside make the inside also? But rather give alms of such things as you have. Then indeed all things are clean to you. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to be true and faithful followers of yours. Show us the light. This first part of the reading from St. Luke's Gospel is a sub -herding. It says, Spiritual perception, a light to see by. We know we live in a dark world, full of terrible things, darkness, war, strife. It's going on all over the world in different parts, different countries. We are also in a spiritual war. Satan wants us. Yes. That's why the world is so dark around us. But we do have a light. Yes, the light of Christ. His word. His word shows us the way. As he said in the part of scripture, no one can come to the Father except by me. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. When we stop following the light, we go into darkness. Yes. The darkness enters us. We are lost. Of course, we cannot see where we are going. We all want to go to heaven. We all want to be with Christ, he is the way. Follow him. Stop following the darkness of the world and follow Christ. In the second part of the scripture, we read how Jesus was invited to a Pharisee's home for a meal. Yes, and when Jesus came into the house, he did not bother to wash, as the tradition of the Pharisees and the Jews were. 
Yes, he marveled, because he did not wash before dinner. Then the Lord said to him, Now you Pharisees make the outside of the cup and dish clean. But your inward part is full of greed and wickedness. Yes. You look okay on the outside, but inside is full of greed and wickedness. Foolish ones. Did not he who made the outside make the inside also? Yes, he did. We need to be clean inside and outside. We are all sinners. We all fall short. We need to wash ourselves regularly inside and outside. Pray to the Holy Spirit to help you to understand. Go to confession. Ask for forgiveness of your sins. Wash the inside as well as the outside. Follow Christ, who is the light to see by. And we will know then. Pray constantly and give God the glory for the opportunities he gives you to follow him out of the darkness into the light. Glory to you, O God. May the blessing of Almighty God, Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most holy Theotokos, save us. Amen. <laughs>